Understanding e-government and e-governance. E-governance. Is e-government the same as e-governance? No. E-governance is broader. According to Professor Richard Heeks, e-governance involves using ICT to enhance connections within government by permitting joined-up thinking, connections between government and NGOs or citizens by strengthening accountability, connections between government and business or citizens by transforming service delivery, connections within and between NGOs by supporting learning and concerted action, connections within and between communities by building social and economic development. The use of Ushahidi in the aftermath of the January 2010 earthquake in Haiti is a great example. Ushahidi, or Swahili for testimony, is a crisis mapping site that allows users to submit eyewitness accounts or other relevant information in a disaster situation via email, text, or Twitter, and then visualize the frequency and distribution of these events in a map. According to Newsweek magazine, unlike older forms of crisis mapping software, Ushahidi is advanced enough to paint an accurate portrait of events while remaining incredibly user-friendly and easy to build on. This platform was developed in Kenya as a response to the bloody aftermath of the 2008 disputed elections. Two hours after the earthquake struck Haiti on the 12th of January 2010, the creators of Ushahidi decided to deploy their platform to help in the rescue and relief effort. Ushahidi Haiti became an international, all-volunteer effort to help organize search and rescue efforts in Haiti. It involved hundreds of volunteers translating real-time text messages from earthquake victims in Haiti from Creole to English, categorizing and geolocating these messages, and passing it on to the ground search and rescue teams. Since its operation was located in Boston, about 1,640 miles from the scene, the volunteer crisis mappers used Skype to relay critical information about the location of potential survivors to search and rescue teams on the ground in Port-au-Prince. The Flood Hazard Map Project is a great e-governance project in the Philippines. Flood hazard maps are used by government agencies to improve disaster prevention efforts. Local government can use these maps for local emergency response, such as evacuation and access routes, road closures, sitting of key rescue facilities, and for town or city planning. They also serve as a valuable reference for homeowners, insurers, engineers and surveyors, and a host of other user groups interested in data concerning the location and mitigation of flood hazards. The Philippine Flood Hazard Map, or www.nababaha.com, was made by students with the help of residents who input their anecdotal accounts during floods, including the one triggered by Ondoy in 2009. It shows specific areas where floods can be severe. This all-volunteer project, led by Dr. Mahar Lagmay of UP, has as its goal the creation of an online nationwide flood hazard map. The Philippine Flood Hazard Mapping Project is an example of an active civil society using ICT in disaster preparedness. In their book, Macroeconomics, Don Tapscott and Anthony D. Williams argued that Ushahidi turned the humanitarian relief effort paradigm on its head. Rather than sit idly waiting for help, victims supply on-the-ground data using cell phones or whatever communication channels were available to them. Rather than simply donate money, a self-organized network of volunteer triages this data translating and authenticating text messages and plotting incidents on interactive mapping displays that help aid workers target their response. 
And rather than just forge ahead with narrow institutional priorities, new communication channels like Ushahidi enable the whole relief ecosystem to operate like a coherent entity. Understanding e-government and e-governance is a project of Pan-Asian networking on e-governance.